uncle to uncle. Can't take my eyes off you. Uncle to uncle. Welcome everybody to Uncle to Uncle, the first podcast to take place live from a king size bed from beautiful hedonism to I'm your main host Franklin and as always I'm joined by the coolest uncle of my whole world, Uncle Howard. Well I've taken the pledge, Franklin's taken the pledge, now have you, the fans, taken the pledge? Every single day, babyfication corrupts and destroys the beautiful art of professional wrestling. Whether it's a, a so-called journalist saying things like, holy freaking crap balls, or whether it's someone who thinks that a wrestler they've seen on their TV is their best friend. Babyfires have ruined wrestling like we've never seen before. But it's in our hands to stop it. If you see someone babyfying wrestling, if you see them acting like it's one of them little animes that they watch on their uh, on their tubies, you can tell them, get out of here, loser. Stop being a nerd. Beautifully said. My word. You're just coming in hot, huh? Yeah, I'm sick of these babies, brother. You know what? If I wanted to be a baby, I'd be a, an OBGYN and take a look at a baby with my own two eyes. <laughs> oh man dude you are coming in hot dude i i really am just like i'm taking aback almost here hey that. i've been thinking about it all day man and we've been getting into it on the shared account and franklin we, i know we have. i try not to get into disputes too much because i know it's a you know it's our business but it is first of all first of all this this cat is this he calls himself a journalist i call him a charlatan his name is sean right. ross sap of oh, what right. am i sh- hey brother guess what this is, I got a Second Amendment right because I'm shooting, and uh, he, he is he calls himself a journalist. I see him. He's you know what he is. He might as well be uh, 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 as Hardy's partner because he's a Stan, Stan, wow. Stan Laurel, right? The, I thought, what's it going on? Yeah, what's it going on? I'll tell you what's it going on. I see the state of journalism is in the worst straits I've ever seen. He says, hey, what what should I be reporting on? I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Well, last I checked, they didn't uncover the Watergate scandal because Bob Woodward said, oh, what do you guys want me to talk about? I'm a little baby. Go outside, nerd. Thank you. Wow. Well, okay. I guess we'll like mention this and then continue. Uh, you got blocked by Sean Ross app. So did uh, our friend, the undertaker, by the way. Yeah. Uh, undertaker, for no reason. undertaker got a lot of like viral activity on his, uh, not a contest or anything, but you know, uh, <laughs> he did. Did you see like, he got, like a yeah, 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 yeah. He for sure did. But, but I mean, like, I, I, I want to make this like, I'm sure Sean Ross is like, Sap is a decent enough guy. I'm like, I'm not gonna. I don't. What's want... he done for me? Okay, he hasn't done shit for either of us. Like, look, yeah. is he a nerd? Yes. Like, like, can we just like? I don't want to get sucked into this. Like, oh, he's a fucking cuck. Like, again, he, he might he's be for sure a cuck, dude. Okay, yes, he's for sure. The point I'm trying to make is like, I'm sure he's a decent enough guy, yeah, right? Enough. But he just happens. I mean. I don't want it to be like, oh, like th- this is not a rivalry, you know? Well, uh, yeah, competition. Then. It, it's but, not a rivalry because I mean, it's not like Tom Brady has a rivalry with like a pretty shitty high school quarterback, <laughs> right? Yes, exactly. So, I mean, Sean Ross Sapp, for those that don't know, he's a wrestling journalist. But like in wrestling journalism, you don't have access to the major companies unless, like, I guess you are just saying things like. Oh my god, last night's show was amaze balls or like, oh my god, this is so great. And like that's not what a normal journalist does. Like somebody's not interviewing LeBron is like, "LeBron, you crushed it tonight. Oh my god, that was freaking <laughs> epic." You know, you know. Like no, like this is not how it works. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think I think there's a couple real wrestling journalists. I think they've been mm-hmm. at it for about 45 years or so and then i think there's a bunch of guys who are just like i was watching your twitch stream and i cannot believe how good you are at counter-strike you know that's and- really essentially it <laughs> and, and like i see here's my thing my gripe with him again there's really 
again, I, I really do believe he is a nice enough guy. And like, I think that that, that shouldn't be understated. I, I don't want to be one of these guys who are like, because this is how like film Twitter people act at Marvel. Oh like, yeah. They're like, I'll enthusiasts. literally fight you. <laughs> yeah. And like, I don't want us to be those. I mean, he is, here's what I want to give him. I think he's doing it for money. I really hope he's doing it because he wants that Rosenberg, that Peter Rosenberg spot of WWE. And like, yeah, dude, because I can relate to making money. But if you actually like the shows, you're an idiot. So like, which yeah. is it? Because I hope you're just a fucking guy who wants money because money's awesome. He, he ain't never going to be a Todd Pettengill, man. You know? Hell no. Nah, he's a, he's, f- fuck that guy, man. <laughs> Not Todd. <laughs> No, not Todd, man. <laughs> Todd, you know, the word of Todd as far as I'm concerned. But, that's right, man. Yeah, that's Sean Ross Sapcat, man. And he's he's a baby about it. You know, he's saying, he's like, oh, I can't believe they're so, you know, they're so dope with it. I love wearing mm-hmm. my little sneaker shoes and going on my tiki talkies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you signed Makes... up for TikTok. Yeah, but that's just because of money, brother. That's right. Uh, the cream of the crap. Yeah, the cream of the talk. TikTok. Mm-hmm. We got a we got a follower on there. No shit, did we? And we got we got like three or four followers, and I don't even know what I'm doing. I've posted two two clips. Check you us out. Post a TikTok. Vid- like a video. Uncle, video. uncle. Yeah, I got to make a video where I'm like outside. And You're I'm like, like dancing. Yo, I got to go to Chipotle and do a Chipotle hack. Yo, check out this dope Chipotle hack. You just order your food and they give it to you. <laughs> you don't know about the secret menu, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'd be, you gotta get, you order the tortilla on the side. It's like three times as much food. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. You got like an extra taco right there, brother. Yeah, you, you, they can't even get mad at you. Yeah, they can't. That's a hack. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Piss. <laughs> so that's what I'd be ordering at Chipotle. Uh, go give me the the piss taco. So, the, so in, in Chipotle, right, they have the secret menu, which is, you know, uh, it's, I think the main item of the, of the, the, the fucking staple of the secret menu has always been the quesarito, right? Yeah. So that's like, oh. that's the one, you know, it's, you know, burrito with ch- melted cheese and the other layer of, I mean, it's excessive. Like a burrito already has too much. I mean, at this point, like, you know, what are you doing? But nonetheless like that's been what are their secret menu like stuff is there for chipotle I, they got french fries <laughs> <laughs> you could ask for them callaway style yeah you can get some of them callaway fries they go right away on the uh microwave pl- glass rotating plate thing <laughs> so um let me see i'm looking at a list here Supposedly they have nachos as a secret menu. Oh, because they do no. have tortilla chips. Yeah, but they so can not do anything with it. They can't heat it up. Yeah, they can't really heat. So they can put stuff on there. I think it's already kind of hot, though, right? It's kind of sitting there. And it's it's like hot. warm, I guess. That's right. It wouldn't be like typical. So they basically get their like tortilla chips from the bag and pour it in a, I don't know. So you're tapping uh, one of those on little trays. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, Stop tapping. Uh, no, no. Yeah. So I think the Chipotle. So they had the burrito dia. This is just stupid. These are just people coming up with names, man. This is I don't buy yeah. this. It is. It's like you're saying. Oh, I invented a uh, a hack at a uh, Outback Steakhouse. I ordered the uh, salad without tomatoes on it. What a <laughs> hack! <laughs> I think that's literally one of the Chipotle. This is from SpoonUniversity.com, by the way. Ugh. <laughs> it's better than Prager U. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the the uh, they have something called Dragon Sauce. Oh, okay. What's that? Uh, Dragon Sauce. So it's popularized by TikTokers. So your people. Uh, it's made by combining sour cream and hot and hot salsa. So that's just something you have to do yourself. You could never say, hey, uh, can you take some of that salsa and uh, mix up? If you, I saw anybody <laughs> do that, you know what I would do? I would hiss at them like I was a mad cat. Yeah, I'd be like, they have The spicy queso, which again, you have to basically, again, now this was endorsed by Chipotle's TikTok, so you, so you have to get, uh, yeah, 
you have to get some queso and then ask for the hot salsa again and then have them mix it for you. How demeaning. How pissed off would you be if you work at Chipotle and the official Chipotle TikTok is like, hey, make these employees do this extra shit. Yeah. Because you know Shut they're not. Off to my great ass. Yeah, say. that is what I'd say. I'd give them a big moon, and then I would leave. If <laughs> I might get a job at Chipotle, ju- yeah, I might get a job at Chipotle just so I can quit on the first day. Moon, moon some Karen, and just <laughs> deuce out of there. Wouldn't that be cool? You would moon somebody. <laughs> no, that's disrespectful, man. It's like, like. Here's the thing. If you were to get mooned, what's the stopping the person from being like hitting your bare bottom immediately, bro? Well, if I'm far enough away. Like oh, you can, okay. Your distance, you can moon gotcha. a train. Yeah, you can moon a train. Look, mooning. Have you ever been mooned before? Oh, I mean, I don't think so, actually. I think I'd remember that kind of disrespect. Right. It is weird. To like see somebody else's butt, dude. And yeah, like, you're like, well, I, I get a little angry, that. man. Like, I don't yeah. like it. I didn't like it when I've gotten mooned. Yeah, did it? <laughs> who who mooned you? What happened? I, I mean, it, it, some some jerks driving by. I was walking. I was walking in my car, just you know, leaving the you know a bar in Miami called Wood Tavern. I don't know if it's around anymore. Uh, I think it's uh, whatever. So. Uh, some people just drove by and they're honking their horn. I'm like, oh no, what's this? Maybe they're they're gonna give me some coupons or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that there was no coupon, dude. So uh, I see, I see the person driving, and then I see in the passenger side, uh, 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 bare butt cheeks. Whoa, that would have pissed me off. Like, imagine dude. if I would have ran there with like a Coca Cola and just spray that man's ass. Imagine if you had been an old grandma. Oh God, I would have, I would have fallen down. Yeah, that you know, these guys they don't think about how everything in this world's connected. You know, one day you moon somebody, the next day an old grandma got her heart broken. Oh my God, that's that's devastating. So like, if you're mooning somebody, I think you have to be careful, man, because like, I don't know, like I, I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready to get mooned, and I'm ready for like, you know, what, like destroy like a couple, of, you know. A cold brew right on somebody's bare ass for that. <laughs> How fun would that be for them? I, you know, I'm never ready to get mooned. <laughs> Nobody is, man. No. You know what I think about mooners? <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> Franklin, you're doing a really good job tonight. I'm just trying to, you know, I think it's the list format that does it for me on the uh, yeah, the you're inside a- baseball for you. You're a list guy. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a list guy, man. I'm a list guy. Uh, what can I tell you? How bizarre. Well, <laughs> so we've explored the secret menu. Have you ever ordered anything off a secret menu? No, not not at Chipotle anyway. Um, but you have in it, general, though? You said not at Chipotle. Yeah, well, I've gone to In-N-Out Burgers. You know, they do their, uh, their animal. The In-N-Out, half their thing is all the... Uh, the secret menu they got them animal styles and mm. you know the double doubles and all that but Is that's that not expected. on the regular it's not but it's understood it's not like uh no one's going to get surprised by it but i feel like a lot of these secret menu things you you could very feasibly order it and someone go what the hell are you talking about i never heard of that before you're like oh let me get the burrito rito with the you know the fire juice or whatever they're gonna yeah, say dragon like, sauce Excuse me, sir. This is my first day. I'm 15 years old. You, you, <laughs> you just feel like a damn bully, wouldn't you? I feel bad doing secret menu because I feel I did. They're ask already for the working hard ones. enough. Oh, yeah. and the, did they get mad? No, they didn't get mad. Like it was a it was a short line, and I was with a friend, and a friend asked for it before I did. So I'm yeah. like. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do the same as well, and I and I, like I prefaced it like, hey, can you do the quesarito? Like I heard about it, and, like I prefaced it like you it weren't, wasn't... you were like, if it's a pain in the ass, I don't want that. Like if they would have said giving me a bullshit lie, like hey, we don't do that here, I would have accepted it and been like, cool, just give me a regular burrito. Yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't anything special, so I, I really I will never do that again in my life. Uh, it was a waste of your time and theirs. It was more cheese and more tortilla to to an already enormous burrito. 
That sounds good to me. I love tortillas, man. Yeah. I could probably live off it. Of, you know, there's a lot of times my handler will be like, uh, she'll be like, oh, I'm kind of busy late tonight. Can you make a dinner? And I'm always just like, yeah, I'll just like do a bunch of rice. <laughs> Is that <Yeah>. good enough? <laughs> That's that's pretty good, man. <laughs> yeah, like, all right, I'm gonna have some crackers and uh, some rice, and I'm like good off that. And yeah. you know, it turns out like a lot of people don't consider that to be like a reasonable meal. You know, if, if you shouldn't get a burrito, what's the worst thing you can construct at a Chipotle? What would you think would be the worst thing? Oh, like man. that's like biggest thing that like. So my thing would be if you make a burrito. And the only thing inside of it, and I hate sour cream, would be sour cream and uh, pico de gallo. And um, have it be f- full like a normal burrito. And then when you bite into it, it's just the cream of the crack. It's just you're <laughs> biting into a chunk of sour cream. And I think that'd be the most dis- disheartening thing you could just. just bite I was into. literally just thinking, like, what's the best thing I could order at Chipotle? I was thinking sour cream and pico de gallo. Really, I love pico de gallo. I love pico yeah. de gallo. I, I I throw the pico de gallo in there to just because if you're just buying into sour cream, it's just like a bad prank. But like, yeah, this is something that would look vile. Like, it, it, I love sour. I love uh, pico de gallo. Sa- sour cream, cheese, guac, and pico de gallo. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes. You just you think you're gonna bite into it and you're gonna have some kind of sustenance? It's just, it's just creamy. Oh, queso, queso. Oh yeah, queso, I don't, I don't, sour uh, cream. <laughs> what was it quack? Yeah. Oh, it would just be goo, <laughs> green, white, and yellow glue. I mean goo. You know what? I got the Chipotle app on my phone. I'm not going to... Obviously, I'm recording an episode right now, so I'm not going to order food, but I'm just going to see if I can put that together. I just... think you can. Let me know live if you can put that together and take a screenshot and post it on the Instagram, okay? Yeah. Oh, on the Instagram, yeah. Or wherever. Like, oh. I mean, post it no, all over. No, the Instagram but... is good, man. You got to follow us on uh, Uncle to Uncle, the Instagram. That's what Instagram's it's good. We put in work in there. Eating, eating a goddamn burrito It's only sour cream Guac and queso is no different than sucking on chili dogs. That's right, sucking yeah. on chili dogs. I mean, actually, I think I would rather suck a chili dog than a fucking creamy burrito. I just no, no solid. There would be nothing to no bite solid. into. No, I think even if you add pico, well, the guac's not solid, but it would be it's the pretty illusion. solid. It be but once you or bite into it, it's pretty liquid. Yeah, it once you bite into it, it's creamy, but it's solid in texture. I wonder if we could get any of our great fans out there to take the uncle to uncle Chipotle challenge. That in seems order. wasteful. I bet some of them would eat it, man. I don't want to see that. I mean, I get what you're saying. It, it is a challenge. I mean, we could have it be. Oh, I want a that, burrito, you know, uncle also, style. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I get a burrito, Uncle Style? It says, "All right." <laughs> yeah, maybe podcasts. that could be on the secret menu. Uncle Style, guac, yeah, <laughs> Ch- queso, and uh, sour cream. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm gonna do a nun rice, nun beans, guac. <laughs> you can um, do it because, like, Domino's lets you order the worst. Possible pizza. Oh yeah, you can get you get the nun pizza with left beef. Yeah, like you could just get bread and beef. For, you know, you can get a ranch pizza for all you you know if your heart desires, man. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, you can't. Okay, so let's see. Sure. I'm trying this. So I got no rice, no beans. You should I'm order doing... this and get it to Shampoodler and uh, send it on over. If we had his address, god damn it. Oh man, I wish we did. It says please make a filling decision. I guess. Oh, but I can filling. do. Okay, I'll so say veggie. And, oh, they say, who's Emil for? I say, Howard. I, I say, need to speak to you about whose cock my daughter's been I sucking. I say, edit. That. Yeah, they're asking that. This is like, whose cock is your daughter's I'm really intrigued about, I think I might genuinely try that someday. What? That, the uncle-style burrito. You're sick. What well, a sick joke! <laughs> they'll say, oh, is that a quesadilla? I'll go, no. I don't want it heated up. <laughs> All that sour cream, I mean, they'll, they'll know. What? <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> you think sour cream is a white person thing or it's just white in color? Yeah, I was saying like, oh, sour cream. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. frame it good. Okay, hey, look. That doesn't There's... give you the right to call me a cuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we have oh, now we have a, a menu item that neither yeah. of us would endorse, and neither. I mean, if you eat that, I really I, not that I think less of you, but I will not. I'll I think not more of you. you. I don't like it. I like it. Mm. I think I think it sounds pretty good, man. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I'm, know. I'm hungry. I'm hungry as a motherfucker. I yeah. eat that. Yeah. What are other? You, how about like an all wet burrito? So it'd be like. Pico, corn. Oh yeah, uh, you gotta get some of the corn. Oh wait, we could add hot sauce to our to our all squishy meal too. Get a little spice to it. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's go. What's the, the other? Squish. There's like a medium. There's like that green one. Yes, yeah, so you could do guac, uh, the tomato salsa, the yeah. tomatillo salsa, the tomatillo. tomatillo red salsa, the sour yes. cream, sour the, cream. Che- the cheese, the queso. Cheese is, I think cheese might be the most solid thing there. Yeah. Oh, so the shredded cheese. Make a filling selection. So we have to do one filling. What's the? What do you mean by filling? Can you explain? Well, it's a. I mean, so I think it's one of the. It's either like the chicken steak, carnitas, or veggie. So I guess you just do veggie because then That's you can. That's insult. You have to select one of those. Yeah, that is insult. If you do it that... online, anyway. Yeah, if you do it online. So you have to. I think veggie would be. I mean. The worst of the worst. Yeah, because then it's like this unnecessary crunch. <laughs> yeah, you get all the smoothness, and your only crunch, your only salvation is not even meat, it's vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it all the way down in my plums. Throw some plums on there, too. It'll still be yeah, disgusting. Yeah, hey, can I get a plum in there? All right, I'm going to post this on our Instagram. It's going to be a big, big hit. <laughs> it's good. Hey, we've gotten a lot of weird likes on our Instagram. Yeah, we're big now in uh, Instagram times. It's only when I yell at trucks. <laughs> Man, yeah, people. People love. Just, just think, think about, about it. it. Your five second clip. You know what I love? I love when I go on Instagram looking at Britney Spears' posts. And we got, I'm not going to blow up his spot, but we got one of our buddies and he likes every single one of her posts as long as she's not wearing a lot of clothes. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, afterwards. <laughs> it is, but I got, I mean, it's, it's definitely not who you'd expect. <laughs> so it's cool, man. Does it help? I mean, I, know. I uh, I got a friend who's, I mean, who likes all of the Jade Cargill. There is oh just hell like, yeah, yeah. It's just like Jade. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, like, I think I, I'll see it's been up for a minute, and then I'll see that motherfucker's name just appear on the damn lights. Like, yeah. God damn, dude. He's ready for it, man. <laughs> oh, he's, you know, is the philosophy that if you like enough, like, oh they'll yeah, take notice. I- I'm seeing it, yeah. And I mean, he's got, what can I say? He ain't blind. <laughs> I'm not saying it's wrong. That's the last thing I'm saying. It's more than fucking relatable, but, you know. <laughs> I'm asking, do you expect results, you know? Yeah, well, you never know. You yeah. miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But is a like a shot? I guess it kind of could be. She might be like, who's liking me? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Oh, David Benoit is liking me. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't uh, know about that. David, ben- David Benoit recently hung out with Scorpio Sky. That's good, man. That's yeah, good. Two I- A-listers. Hmm. Well, yeah. I don't think Jade's going to message somebody and be like, oh, wow. <laughs> this guy's liking all my posts. Let me give yeah. him a message. Oh, you're right. I have been looking for this guy. A guy like you. <laughs> I think the fact that she will that she would message any man <laughs> is just insane. It, it, it is just the most insane thing. You know? It, David Benoit posted a picture of his dad with Mickey Mouse on a Disney World trip. David Pretty Benoit cool. being Chris Benoit's son, right? 
Yes. I'm just saying for the people who don't know. People oh, who are yeah. just like, there's, you know. There's a picture of Edge, Chris Benoit, and Mickey Mouse on a cruise ship. <laughs> wow. It's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that I didn't necessarily expect to see. Today. No, no, I did not either. But uh, thank you for but, yeah. bringing it to my attention here. I wonder if David Benoit would get a burrito uncle style <laughs> i think i think david benoit that might be his regular style burrito <laughs> yeah he's like that sounds good to me <laughs> i think there's a lot i think there's a lot of trauma there brother i think he could benefit from watching wandavision oh yeah he loves wandavision yeah he's like oh, how, how much does that guy weigh oh wrong one <laughs> <laughs> well he's asking about vision yeah, <laughs> but I bet he weighs a lot because he's made of metal like a robot. Yeah, does he, he doesn't gain weight either. No, but he can't lose it. Oh, yeah, he can because he can change his density. <laughs> Matter can't change. How, anyway, I'm not getting to nerd shit. Jesus Christ. Brother, he's got, a, he's got the Mind Stone. Yeah, I know. He's got the Mind Stone. That's great. That's fucking terrific. Anyways, can we take a quick break? Because, brother, I got to take a piss, man. Yeah, yeah, where are you going to take it? To Chipotle? <laughs> I'm not going to take it to Chipotle, man. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you, go. I mean, do you want to talk you for the duration? Yeah, or... I'll, I'll talk during the duration, man. I got a lot to say. It's going to be like a 47-second piss. So You got a long piss. Well, I got a long dick, so let's get going. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so recently there was a big controversy on Twitter. This this clown, boy, he might be a clown, but I'm not laughing. goes by the name of RJ. He was saying, who would win in a fight? Star Wars, MCU, Transformers, or DC? Apparently, according to the the idiots in charge of voting, Star Wars won. Well, I strongly disagree. So based purely on cinematic universes... There's no way MCU loses. You got you got Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. She can rip through a Chitauri army like they're nothing. So that alone would easily beat what what who's the strongest cinematic uh, Jedi? Like Snoke, I guess. He wouldn't even know she was coming. She hit him in light speed. He's done. Um, and then. Star Wars, what are you going to do against uh, cine- just the cinematic Transformers? They're so fast. They're so chaotic. They just rip through everything. They're big. They're strong. They're psycho. That's hard to beat. Sorry about that, buddy. That's okay. I was just saying how uh, MCU wins a fight every single time. You know, I appreciate it because if I had to edit this, it would take me like 10 extra minutes to Yeah, and now you don't so, have so. to. Because I said good... some some truth. There we go, man. I appreciate it, man. So everybody uh, out babies, there, babies, before we're done here, y'all be wearing gold-plated diapers. That's like a whole movie scene, man. God damn. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Nonetheless, big man, we have some traditions here in the king size bed, don't we, big man? We do. We've always had them. Every single episode has had this linking, uh, connected moment, and that's the movies. Mm-hmm. The movies, baby. That's right. You know them. We love to watch them. We love to talk about them. And, yep. uh, I mean, my, well, hold on. God damn it. The movies. The list failed me. Yeah, the list the sucks. The movies. This doesn't suck, but I do list mode, man. What can I tell you? Anyways, uh, Bert turned me on to this movie here, and I'm sure I've talked about it before. But I just want to do a deeper dive, man. It stars, again, we've talked about it before, but I want to do it again. Is that okay? Please. Josh Duhamel. Oh, he's one of the best stars of all time, Transformers. <laughs> Will Arnett. Yeah, he's, I've never heard of the guy. <laughs> uh, um, Bobby Moynham. Ugh, that clown. Kate Micucci. I- not sure who that is. Okay, she was in Big Bang Theory. Mm. And she was also in uh, Garfunkel and Oates. Mm. Yeah, okay. And John Heater. Oh, Napoleon Dynamite. That's right, I'm talking about, hey brother, when in Rome. 
Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So Kristen Bell, I think she makes a wish in a pond and uh, hopes uh, uh, every man will fall in love with her. But guess what? They all do. So she has she has uh, Danny DeVito, John Heater, and of course she's only interested in Josh Duhamel, which you know what? That's pretty fucked up. You know? You th- oh, well, I only you want the hunk. Do, you can't do better than Josh Duhamel, though. But isn't it a little bit like, God damn it? I, I hope right. I, I hope our socialist audience can help us out here. Like it's fucked up that she goes for this, you know, standard good-looking Josh Duhamel when you have, you know, John Heater. He, he can offer a lot. You know, who's to say John yeah. Heater can't offer the same? You know, or Paul Giamatti? He's not in this, but like, in yeah, theory, yeah, but he's a hunk though. <laughs> like. So, you know, if you're going through Tinder and you see John Heater, uh, Josh Duhamel, and, and, and Paul Giamatti, you're only going to swipe right on, uh, on Duhamel? That, that's, that's, that's capitalism. There right? is a, yeah, that is capitalism. There isn't a single person who would swipe left on Paul Giamatti. Like, what is he? So, so, so you know, just, just admit you're superficial then, Kristen Bell. Yeah, boy. You you must be the kiddie pool because you're shallow. Yeah, I, I I think now that I that I've come to this conclusion here. Here's the thing: this movie had like a four minute trailer, which is amazing. That's like, good. <laughs> gives you. I mean, you couldn't be any more well informed before going into this, you know? Like that. That's you know, your everything. money's worth. <laughs> yeah i mean if ever there was a trailer that really like fucking helps you out here man that trailer is a six man that trailer is uh john stockton there um, <laughs> so uh, so it's directed by mark stephen johnson so let's mm-hmm. let's take a good look at this guy he's done grumpy old men but okay. that's not the only movie he's done he's done grumpier old men oh and then he did christopher robin with obi-wan kenobi Ain't that oh, something? Alec Guinness. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> no, man. Ewan McGregor. Never heard of him. Never. You you only have one Obi Wan, right? Yeah. Who's your Han Solo? Uh <laughs> Anson Elgort. Alden Ehrenreich. Do you really forget his name? Yeah. I knew you did. Did you did you not? I thought you would. God damn there, it. Which one's which? I, I would hope, I mean, all in Aaron Reich is all in Aaron Reich is Ansel Elgort. Uh, he, he's not a good man. Oh, damn. I Oh, that's right. He was Baby Driver. He was Baby Driver. He was Baby yeah. Driver, and he was he's the second worst person on that cast. Yeah, who's the King's Man? The King's Man is, it's not Ansel Elgort, thankfully, right? It's like... Yeah. He's like, oh, bruv, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the That's bruv. The Kingsman, right? He's like, hey, bruv, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not how I roll. Yeah, I don't know who any of these guys are, man. There's too it's many Taren actors now. It's Egerton. Oh, yeah. That's Taren basically Egerton. That's an Alden Ehrenreich, if ever I've heard of one. You have Alden Ehrenreich, Taron Egerton, and Ansel Elgort, the three pillars of white mediocrity. Yeah, well, Taron Egerton's good because the Kingsman saved the day a lot of days. You know what uh, the Colonel thinks when uh, you tell him about Taron Egerton? Well, tell me. What? <laughs> <laughs> same, same applies. When you hear those names, Ansel Elgort, you know. What? <laughs> They got some funny names, though. Yeah, white people are crazy, man. I love those guys. I, you, you see a white people, you can't help but laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just all like, hey. Sorry to bother you, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never sorry to bother a white person. I no, no, no. Yeah. So when in Rome, I, I think I'm going to eventually watch this, brother. Yeah, I might, I'm going to watch. Well, we're both going to watch it tonight. Well, we are, but hopefully we don't fall asleep. Yeah, because I got a boring movie to watch. Uh oh, that's this ain't good. No, this is a rough one. But anyway, any last last words about this movie? Uh, about my movie, um, I think it is the quintessential jury duty movie. 
And, yeah. uh, you know, if, if you're watching it at any point, I got to be You sound like you've been drinking this early in the morning, bro. That's <laughs> what so, I <you> know. <laughs> well, I haven't been because it's not the morning. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But, but I can't wait to watch uh, Win in Rome, Franklin. But before we watch Win in Rome, we're going to another part of Europe. We're going to watch a movie called The Liechtenstein Protocol. Oh, boy. The Liechtenstein Protocol. I don't know about this, big man. It sounds foreign. Yeah, we know it's a spy thriller. And this is one of those movies where there's not a lot of, act, you know, big action scenes. You're not going to see explosions. You're going to see a lot of guys meeting up with each other. And they're like, is this guy lying to me or am I lying to him? I thought, what's that going on? Yeah, there's Brett Michaels never knows what's going on in this movie. <laughs> no. You got you got big stars in this though. You got uh you got Hal Linden. Ooh, Hal Linden, that's a name. Yeah, he's, he was a guy who He's an uncle to Elgort. Yeah, he um Hal Linden, he's 91 years old nowadays. Oof, that's 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 dusty. Yeah, yeah dust him off cuz here yeah. he is. You know, he was he was in Granddaddy Daycare, which is in the Daddy Daycare <laughs> series. Yeah. All right, you got Hal Linden. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You got um, um, Wendy McClug Clinton Covey. I don't know who that is, but okay. She was in Reno Nine One One. She's the blonde lady. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. She's also in the the Goldbergs, I think, right? Oh yes, 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 yes. Wendy McClendon Covey, yes, yes, yeah. yes. You're right. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear you the first time. Yeah, yeah. she's in Blended. Yeah, Blended. And Bridesmaids. Yep, yeah, she's in Bridesmaids. Um, <laughs> you got all sorts of people in here. You got a, you know, that Irish fella that's in a. Is he in Bridesmaids? Or is it one of those movies like it? Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He is the he is Irish. He's the, he's yeah. like one of five Irish guys. Yeah, he's he's Chris not O'Dowd. Movie. Yeah, Chris O'Dowd. He's not in this. Chris O'Donnell is though. Chris O. Oh, Robin. Yeah, Robin is in this, and he's looking like a million bucks. He he gets killed in the very first scene by Hell Linden. He goes, "Hey, old man, what no, do he you got like to?" Yeah, he says, "What do you got to go to?" Tell me, and Helen and says, "Oh, why don't you drink this old coffee here? This this little cup of coffee." And then the guy drinks it, and then mm. uh, Chris O'Donnell drinks it, and then he he says, oh, "I don't feel very good," and then he goes, he just leaves. We don't even get to see him die because this movie's so boring. <laughs> he just implied. leaves. The Liechtenstein, what's it called? Uh, the Liechtenstein Protocol. <laughs> okay, the Liechtenstein Protocol here, and Chris O'Donnell's in it. He dies yeah. early on because he got a mm -hmm. cup of coffee. What is it? Did yeah. Starbucks is the location or like? A yeah, shop? well, it's it's not even that. It's called um, the the coffee shop of this. It's just called Cafe du du Place. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that boring? That's boring. I mean, yeah, you're, you're boring me so far, man. It's like, yeah. I mean, it, was it directed by Mark Duplass? No, it was, it was, you know, it was directed by, I can't wait to tell you. It was directed by, um, um, oh, what's his name? Altman. Altman? Isn't there, yeah, isn't there a director named Robert Altman? Altman? Yeah, it's directed by Altman. <laughs> I don't think it goes by Altman. He's a director of MASH. Oh, God, the movie. that's boring, isn't I that? Think, MASH had a movie? Yeah, I think it was... They It did, you know, it started on a TV show and it got a cinematic tie-in. Jesus Christ. All right, that so the Liechtenstein so protocol. Give me the plot, yeah. give me the big ending, because this is going to be tough. Yeah, so it's, it's these spies... And they're all um, saying they're all working for each other. So Hal Linden's the American. He's mm -hmm. he's he's got kind of a rival slash friend who's a British spy played by Jeremy Irons. <laughs> the young and, man in the movie. Yeah, he's super young in this movie. And then um, you got um, there's there's some spies from other countries that you think might be bad. You got a, a spy from India. And it's played by Deep, you know, Deep Roy. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's the Indian spy. All um, right. Yeah, he, you know he was a he was an Oompa Loompa, and um, I mean he was and, also like an Eastbound and Down, right? Yeah, he was. He was also in a Transformers um, um, 
Revenge of the Fallen. What did he do in Transformers? <laughs> he was like a like a Egyptian border patrol guy or something, and he's like, oh, hey, hey, stop here!" And uh, hey, what the fuck like, are you doing? Yeah, Jinjiro was like, "No, we're from America." He's like, "Oh, I love America. Go on." Oh, that's awesome! I gotta watch that yeah. movie. I gotta I mean, yeah. give, give me the whole, you know, Deep Roy. Give me all the Deep Roy. <laughs> yeah, let's Wait do a a Deep Roy. Deep, Roy, Deep Roy, Roy, Deep Dive. Guy? Yeah, Deep Roy is the fucking little guy in uh in Star Trek with Simon Pegg. Yeah, he's like every little no guy, shit. dude. He, he was he was literally every Oompa Loompa. He played the Oompa Loompas, like in like the Johnny Depp one. No, the original one. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit, dude. Deep Roy's fucking old, man. He's he like great, seventy. Though. Yeah, he's amazing, dude. We got to so do start it. with Anton Yelchin. Yeah, yeah, he's done it all, man. And he Anton pl- he, Yelchin, Ansel Yo, Elgort, Jesus Yoda, Christ. and R two D two. Nah, bullshit. Yeah, he was a stand-in for Yoda, and he was a double for R two. Double for two. Yeah, who's the triple? <laughs> me uh, he played he was in a movie called Weekend Warriors and he played Little Girl hey he was 64 that dude's old yeah man Deep Roy is maybe he should be in the Uncle Uncle Hall of Fame at Deep Roy I'm sorry Dr. Conrad Murray we gotta take you <laughs> out of the out of our Mount Rushmore here Deep Roy he is the he is our dude yeah, He's our he guy. Is, he is a badass. Oh, you and know what? He, he wasn't a Johnny and... Depp uh, Oompa Loompa. I'm sorry. He wasn't in the original, right? No, I guess not. No, because That's they were fucking... That's stupid. No, yeah, it's too old the... for him. So Deep Roy was a stand-in for Yoda. Holy shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Man. He was in the Jamie K- Kennedy experiment, playing himself in nine episodes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Na- naturally. Yeah. Because yeah. because he's very obvious. Because you know it's Deep Roy. He was in a music video by an artist named Jamie T. I think Deep Roy might be one of my favorite parts of that Star Trek movie with Simon Pegg and. Uh, yeah, he's cool, man. He's I funny. love Deep Roy, dude. I love Deep Roy. This is like, this is like we have a new guy, and he's and he's yeah. oh, he's been you know he's been there the whole time. Yeah, he never left us. We're the ones who forgot about Deep Roy, to be honest with you. See, and now we're just ahead of the pack. So, like, if he does, like, you know, God forbid, dude. God forbid. Oh, like, dude, there's going to be people on the internet. All of a sudden, they're going to be I like, fucking you know love I'm, them. I'm Deep Roy pilled or whatever. Oh, God. No, but, buddy, no. No. Yeah, no, no. you were, you weren't there first. We've been Deep Roy Go guys. outside, nerd. Yeah. That's right. He, you know. he was a stunt performer in basketball. <laughs> Again, badass yeah. dude. Yeah, I mean he's like one of the best guys ever, man. He is one of the best guys. I, I want to see a, a deep renaissance come in here and uh, Whoa, get him on some man. episodes of Amando. You know, anything, anything. I'll yeah. take him wherever I can get. I think he would play a great uh, Jawa. I think he'd play, he'd play a good. They're going to Mandalore. I'd like to see him be one of the Mandalorians. Why couldn't he be? He looks great. Yeah, he, he should be. He should be a Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah maybe. Oh There's, man, maybe he could help uh, Grogu. Like he could yeah, train he, Grogu. Like maybe like one of the Mandalorians taking business. Like, look, my kid. He's got to learn how to fight soon. And then yeah. Deep Roy is the man, like, he's like, I can teach him, don't worry. Because he's, like, hardened, you know? Yeah, yeah, because um, they're like, oh, Mandalorian, you can't teach Grogu to fight, you're too big. And he's like, well, who's not too big? And he's like, this guy's only kind of big. And it's Deep Roy. Still big compared to Baby Yo- the Grogu, yeah. yes. And he, yeah, he's, he's, like, he's like, can you teach him? And then, like, he, like, fucking takes down Mando, gives him, like, a fucking knocks, gets him in the shin, takes him down with some oh, weapons. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's, Deep he's Roy's like guy. Deep Roy's cameo videos are only fifty dollars. It's not too bad. Damn, he'll put on he'll put on a little suit for you too. You know, uh, Great Khali's uh, cameos went up in price after we got him. <laughs> I have to find <laughs> that again. Uh, Deep Roy would be a good one to give us a plug, right? Yeah, Deep Roy would be a great one to give us a plug. He's got a really good Instagram. Though. There's a picture of him sitting at a table. 
And uh, it says, yes, I eat everything. So yummy. Love f food and wine. Soon on TV, deep into food. So he might be making a TV show where he eats yeah. food. Yeah. Well, look, for those that don't know, Deep Roy, talented actor, you know, yep. uh, just one of the greats. One of the yep. greats. Highly recommend uh, looking him up. Just, just a staple of Hollywood. Yeah, That's, he really you know, does love food, man. He's always he's, eating. He's a young Kenyan. Well, not young anymore. He's 64. But he's a Kenyan British actor, puppeteer, yeah. and stuntman. Yeah. I mean, that's the big three. Yeah. What else could you like? He is, he's Kenyan. Well, he was born in Kenya, but he's Indian. He's a Sikh. Okay, so he's a Sikh. But, you know, he's so like why multinational, is he also British? Man. So he's got like family. So he's got like, like maybe his mom's British or something. You know, because every country be uh, trying like to British. get. Well, take take a look at Deep Roy and Guest attending the world premiere of Dumbo. Well, yeah, Deep, I saw that already. Yeah, Deep yeah, Roy, Deep Roy, Deep Roy is, Okay, well, they can't see this. This is an audio format, big man. Let's, yeah, let's move, let's man, move let's along say, here. Deep Roy, Deep Roy ain't doing bad, brother. No, yeah, no. so this is like hell of a podcast, man. We yeah. got, I mean, we, we cover it. We go deep into the, we go deep beneath the covers of this king-size bed, brother. That's right. Yeah. Oh, Deep Roy would be a good guest for the show. Yeah, well, 50 bucks, we can at least get him to say he loves the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't got that. I don't want to split that, man. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll see talk. how the show goes. <laughs> Dude, just I mean, like a, it's he, he is in Revenge of the Fall, and he's pretty funny in there. It's true. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll be getting more into Deep Roy filmography, everybody. But uh, yeah. we need to shout out right now the people that make this show possible the fans god let's see what questions they asked us okay yeah we got because we got so if you don't know everybody uh we got a patreon that patreon is so sick we mm -hmm. got all sorts of exclusive content we just record something tonight with some movie premiere stuff but also you can get into our uh what do we call it here i guess it's their discord channel it's the chillest place on the internet the Fan world. popped in the other day. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. He's been bossing everybody around. Who got who got who added him in there? I must have been a big baller like you, brother. It wasn't me. Why would I add him? Uh, I don't know. It wasn't me. I was, it must have been Shaggy. Shampoo. shampoo. <laughs> well, it specifically wasn't him. <laughs> oh, did, right. did we answer <laughs> shampoo? There's, no, we did. We did here. I'm not gonna answer yeah. Dwayne's question a third time. Yeah, Dwayne, you've gotten your your kicks in. All right, here's a question from Mason. Um, he just posted a, a link. Oh, and then he says, which of these books would the uncles order if they had to pick one? What the fuck is this? So these books oh, are... Oh, I got it, gotcha. Oh, it Sexual seems like... Sexual horror classics. Yeah, are these real? Oh, no, I, I guess. Uh, the so the movies are... Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> Fingered by, by a... Skeleton. <laughs> You read them. <laughs> Fingered by a skeleton. Eat my ghastly ass. Dracula's dick. My haunted holes. I came a ghost. That's a question. Question. Mark. Yeah. The the nut of nightmares. My pussy is possessed. Nos for ass to. Frankenstein's dick. The cave where I blew Bigfoot, and a dick with bat wines. I think it's bat wings still. Oh, bat wings! That makes more sense than bat wines. I was thinking, what's a? Um, so I actually, guess... it's a uh, the monster's dick created by Doctor Frankenstein, and not Frankenstein's dick. Oh, that's a good one, Franklin. That's a decent uh, one, right? Yeah, I would. Of all those, I think I'd pick. The cave, well, no, that one seems a little too wacky on purpose. I think I'd do Fingered by a Skeleton. Because, boy, I, that would be one you'd remember, right? I came a ghost? Yeah. Imagine I, you nut and the spirit just shoots out. Oh, yeah. You're like, ugh. And then it's like, boo. <laughs> it's like, You're like, ah. <laughs> I would not like that very much. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'd, be kicking, would... I'd be kicking the air, man. My yeah, would you? Dick in I my would, hand. I would never nut again. <laughs> I would never nut again. 
<laughs> it's just I might come a ghost. No. Yeah. No, that's not worth it, pal. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Man. Now I'm just getting grotesque. God. <laughs> Oh, God. oh man! I can only yeah. imagine watching a pornography and somebody's like, "Not of my face." It's like, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, woo! Why I'm would Carl Holbrook? Why would you do that to us? God. Oh yeah, if Hal Holbrook came out of your dick. You nutted. It was a ghost, and it was Hal Holbrook. You're like, don't ever try to suck your own dick. Hey, I did a hell of an Abe Lincoln, or whatever. <laughs> motherfucker was with Abe Lincoln at the theater. <laughs> he was the one who shot him. <laughs> how, how much does that guy weigh? Hey, I keep forgetting what that one is. Hal Holbrook was married to Dixie Carter. That's pretty cool. Senior. No, well, the, the one who was on Designing Women. Oh. I remember of yesterday back before the great ones ruled Earth. That's, That's right. my favorite one. That's, yeah, that's what Hal Holbrook says. He remembers of yesterday's back. <laughs> yeah. I think Hal Holbrook just just misses you know, being racist. Every, everyone's all mad at a, um, you know, who are they mad at for dating people younger than them? Like, uh, uh, like Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Right. Right, they right, go, right. oh, you know, he's, he's robbing the cradle or whatever. Sure, sure. But, but Hal Holbrook... When Dixie Carter died, she was seventy, and mm. he was like ninety-two. Ugh, boy, disgusting! Yeah, he boy. should be ashamed of himself. Boy, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Hal Holbrook, you're canceled here, pal. Yeah, yeah. Well, and he's coming out of our dicks now. <laughs> I'm gonna be afraid to nut tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. So that's Hal Holbrook. You know, that's you're not funny just nutting a ghost. It could be a famous ghost. You don't know this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It could be. It could be any ghost. You would never know. It's you funny think we're talking about ghosts get privilege. Yeah. Yeah, I think like Don Knotts probably gets ahead of the line and nut privilege. <laughs> God. Oh Lord. Well, what can I tell you? Uh, gonna get day. Yeah. <laughs> It's the prayer I'm going to say so I don't nut a ghost tonight. Yeah, the ghost prayer. The ghost prayer. <laughs> the ghost nut is the name of today's episode, by the way. The, so. Yeah, and our picture will be Deep Roy. Yeah, that's smart. We will know who we're talking about. Yeah. We talk a lot about him, man. Yeah, the ghost nut is the deepest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Looks next like, question. Thank you, Mason. Yeah. Yeah, um, the last question too. This is gonna be a short ep, which is well, okay. two more questions, but I don't like them. Well, that one of them is not a question; it's a statement. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll read it. So, Shampoo sure. asked, "Would you rather spend twenty four hours along the DMV or watch season one of Andor?" Well, season one is going to be less than twenty four hours, so that's an <laughs> easy choice. Right. I love Andor, so I mean, whatever. Yeah, I gotta watch the last episode still. I didn't get around to it yesterday. I'll watch it you today. Know, and I got I gotta watch She Hulk too. I gotta watch She Hulk too. Yeah. I'm not like crazy it, about man. it, but I'm gonna watch it. Like I thought I think I think it's cute. You it's know, cute. not everything has to be like mind bending. Sometimes I agree. you can just say like, Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I, I agree. if the CGI was better for for her, uh not that I'm one of those nerds, but you know, it, it can be a little Oh, off. it takes me out of the the the, the, the yeah. authenticity. Look, I like good cinematography, member. In fact, you could say, I love cinematography. Cinematography, member. It's good to see you again. What's your favorite example of cinematography? The single shot from Children of Men. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't seen that one, so I'll take your word for it. Ah, Citizen Kane. Oh, yeah, very famous. Oh, and Marvel! <laughs> yeah, now we're talking, brother. That's beautiful cinematography there. <laughs> yeah, it is, because you always see some colors. action. Oh. Yeah, a <laughs> lot, lot of colors. Sometimes there's some action. Yeah, yeah, you see fucking uh, Scarlett Johansson. Unless you're yeah, there's Stefan Dorf, of... who's embarrassed. Yeah, oh, I can't even bear to see her wearing that skin-tight leather outfit. <laughs> yeah, oh, that great. makes me Go sick. Go make a vape commercial, dumbass. Yeah, go be in fucking 
what was it? The Meteor Man or whatever. <laughs> he wasn't a Meteor Man. He wishes he was a fucking yeah. Meteor Man, dude. He fucking wishes. Fuck Steven Dorf, dude. Yeah. I hate that guy, man. Yeah. Anyways, the last question. Trick question. Andrew was playing. This is from Van. Yeah. Uh, he's saying, trick question. Andrew was playing in a loop on the broken TV in the DMV. Okay. So, yeah, this is the last. That wasn't a question. If you, if you went to the DMV and they had Disney Plus, you'd be so excited. I went to piss in a cup, and they had Ragnarok. Yeah. That's dope, dude. <laughs> Fucking how awesome was that, dude? Yeah, you're like, dude, I'll piss all day for you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right? You, you got this on here? Holy fuck, man. Yeah, yeah <laughs> oh, damn. This hey, can you party, pause it? <laughs> I take a piss? Yeah. Well, my piss might come out positive for awesome. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you should say if you're gonna if you're gonna fail your drug test anyway. You'll be like, "Oh, I got bad news for you, man. I think we're gonna come up hot." And I'm like, "Oh yeah," and you're like, "For being a cool dude." That's what Sean Ross Sapp would fucking be. Yeah, like. he'd say like, "Like, whoa, my piss is epic." <laughs> <laughs> he is a big epic. Good God, uh, uh, yeah, that's, not, like, let's, let's, that's the last. We need to. We need to. He needs to be our personal like Benoit. We don't mention that guy after tonight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's he, we're writing him off the show. He's like you know Roseanne what? on the Connors. You won't hear the name Sean Ross Sapp anymore. We're about putting smiles on people's faces. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's not our fault what happened with him. No, no. Fuck that guy. Fuck that yeah. nerd. Hope yeah. he gets us some listens, though, for that response me, to you. Yeah, me too, brother. I don't think it will, but it would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. Do we have much else to do, Franklin? We don't have much else. We have uh, a Patreon that you could all subscribe to, everybody. Patreon.com slash uncle to uncle. Uh, we're, we're adding a little premiere thing. You know, the uncle's at the premiere. Just talk a little bit about the red carpet. So that, that video should be up very soon. Uh, we talk. We make fun of Stephen Dorff a little bit on there as well. Uh, it gets a little horny on there, just a, little a bit. bit. Not that horny. It, it. You know, we don't know what premiere photos are coming up, and then Helen Hunt's wearing this the see through blouse. I mean, there, there could have been families at that premiere for of yeah, Twister. There could have been a grandma carrying a big plate of spaghetti. Oh no, she would have spilled it if she saw <laughs> Helen Hunt Helen Hunt's bra. Yeah, boy, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> as would i but uh yeah so sign up for our patreon follow us on you know tiktok what's the, what's our handle yeah, on tiktok we're, I, we're just uncle i think uncle to uncle pod on tiktok um there's not too much going on there but uh it's cool and make people follow us please, there is big yeah you. i'll make i'll make a video where i do a chipotle hack for sure chipotle yeah um do like the narration yeah. voice yeah yeah oh yeah i'll be like i can't believe oh we got a couple followers from some people here uh so i'll follow them back um also uh if you can like rate and subscribe us on itunes or wherever else you can do that with podcast helps us out a little bit and we love that helps the algorithm out give us five stars a positive review I think we should hold a, something of a of a raffle for whoever shows proof of a screenshot of a positive review. They wrote it on Apple Podcasts. I yeah. think – well, one, they should be guaranteed free stickers, uh, which we're going to make more of. Definitely. We're yeah, we're making new stickers. new stickers. They're going to be sick. But, yeah, we'll do a raffle. Everyone who does it, add us. I will write down your name. I will put it in a box. We'll and, do it uh, live. Yeah, we'll do it live. We'll dr- announce the winner, and we'll send you something really good. Yeah, I will show the prize for the raffle. How about that? I have an extra A24 sweater. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I have an extra A24 sweater for the auction uh, that I uh, participated in. So yeah. I will – I'll give that one. I'll take photos of that on the Instagram, and hopefully that will generate – again, and if you wrote one in the past already, awesome. Take a screenshot of that. Let me know that was you, and you're yeah. entered in the raffle. We're going to have it. We'll have it on, We'll have it recorded. Yeah, absolutely. You'll do it. It'll be in your Timberwolves hat you found. Yes, I'll do it in my Timberwolves hat. That's where you'll I'll pull it out. Yeah, that's perfect there. You know, hopefully uh that's the only thing you pull out and then you're not coming a ghost tonight. <laughs> yeah, I hope Hell Holbrook don't come out of my dick. So uh <laughs> I guess uh, that's about it, everybody. Thank you all so very much. We love you, each and every one of you. I called your show. Ha! 
So guess what? Goodbye!